Priscilla Shira and Carmen Lee Cardello are in need of prayers. Coming up next. If you're new to this channel and like what we do, then consider subscribing. Or you are a regular here, then welcome back. Now this is where we discuss the inherency of scripture and anything else relating to Christianity, whether it's news topics, religion, or social happenings. We take a look at how it all affects the day-to-day -day lives of followers of Jesus Christ in this ever-changing society. Reported by the Christian Post on January 15, 2020, popular faith leader Beth Moore shared an update on Priscilla Shira's recovery after she underwent surgery to remove a lobe of her left lung after doctors discovered a small nodule that contained some dangerous irregularities. I'm going to just give you the very basic because I want to leave every kind of detail to the family and respect them completely in this more said. On Instagram on Tuesday while driving back to Houston from Dallas, Texas where she joins others in praying for Shira during her surgery. She did very, very well during the surgery. The surgeon said that it went absolutely according to plan. That her body is strong and they have every anticipation that she'll heal up well, she continued. A more revealed that the War Room star will spend the next couple of days in the hospital and has more recovery time ahead. Moore and Christine Kane marched around the Dallas hospital where Shira was being operated on and prayed for her and the surgical team. Moore and the Kane shared on Instagram that they were headed to the hospital at 6 a.m. on Monday armed and dangerous with anointing oil and the Bible. After the surgery, both Christian speakers had the chance to visit with Shira. We just had the sweetest few minutes with her. She's just a rock star to us. So dear and precious to us, Mo said. She ended her surgery update by asking everyone to keep Shira in their prayers. Pray for a smooth and comfortable recovery. And I'd add to that a time of respite for this family we all love so much. Your prayers matters. Keep them up. More concluded. And Shira, who recently lost her mother, Lois Evans, to a rare form of cancer revealed on Facebook last week that doctors would be removing an entire lobe of her left lung. The surgery was delayed, but I cannot put it off any longer without jeopardizing my own health, the Christian speaker and actress said last week. The day before surgery, Shara shared a video on Instagram showing more at her house cleaning up for her after a family gathering. When you've had a few really tough weeks and you're on the eve of a few more tough ones, but then your people show up cooking and cleaning and making a celebration out of thin air, Shara gratefully shared. Shara decided to speak openly about the procedure after word began to spread on social media on Tuesday. The woman in my home church surrounded me in prayer regarding an upcoming surgery that I have scheduled, she explained. Since then, news of this procedure began to spread on the interwebs by concerned individuals, so I wanted to take a moment to address it personally. This past summer, it was clear that something surgical needed to be done as the nodule had begun to grow and show signs of dangerous irregularities, she said. Shara has not shared an update on her condition. 
In other faith news, as reported by Christian Post on January 15, 2020, legendary gospel music entertainer Carmen Licardello has declared that he won't stop fighting for his life and believes in total healing as he battles cancer for a second time. Licardello was diagnosed with incurable melanoma cancer in 2013 and defied the odds after nine months of chemotherapy. But after six years in remission, it has returned. And doctors said the average remission was nine years. A year ago, January, the oncologist told me my melanoma markers were spiking, meaning that in all this time, I had no signs of cancer and incomplete remission. But now the tests tell us 17% of the cancer is back. Nine years reduced to six years, he wrote on Facebook on Sunday. He revealed that for the past five months, he's tried a few different cancer treatments, but they all failed. Since last July, I've been on the more advanced medicine and getting chemo shots in my stomach every Tuesday. That really hurts. They added a type of steroid which bloats you up, so I immediately gained 20 pounds of water weight I couldn't get rid of. Uh, now this week, I'm back in Little Rock after faithfully following this regimen for seven months to see if this new approach has worked, he continued. The singer actor went in for a bone biopsy on Tuesday where doctors drilled a hole in his hip to extract a piece of the bone to see if there was any sign of cancer. Please pray because I can't quit. I can't stop fighting and I still trust God to have his perfect will done in the end. But I can't do it without your prayers and support. Lee Cardello employed. Lee Cardello's birthday is January 19. And he said, really, he wants to be cancer free for his birthday. He first shared that he had been diagnosed with melanoma cancer and given only three to four years to live on February 14, 2013. Fortunately, Lee Cardello survived cancer and by early 2014, he testified that medical tests indicated he was cancer free. I've got a light-hearted moment for you. This one is entitled Mrs. Lone Falls Dishwasher. Mrs. Lone Falls Dishwasher quit working, so she called the repairman. He couldn't accommodate her with an evening appointment, and since she had to go to work the next day, she told him, I leave the key under the mat, fix the dishwasher, leave the bill on the counter, and I'll mail you the check. By the way, don't worry about my Rottweiler, Brutus. He won't bother you. But whatever you do, do not under any circumstances talk to my parrot. When the repairman arrived at Mrs. Lone Falls' apartment the next day, he discovered the biggest and the meanest looking Rottweiler he had ever seen. But just like she had said, the dog just laid there on the carpet, watching the repairman go about his business. However, the whole time he was there, the parrot drove him nuts with incessant cursing, yelling, and name calling. Finally, the repairman couldn't contain himself any longer and yelled, shut up, you stupid, ugly bird. To which the parrot replied, get him, Brutus. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And please subscribe if you have not done so already. And click the bell icon so as to not miss any new videos when they are posted. Leave your comments, like, and also share these videos. Remember, there's freedom in truth. I am William Nelson Ryan saying, may the peace of God be with you until next time.